Well, um, Matt Gennaro, this is my wife, uh, Carrie. We have three kids. Uh, Sophie is nine. Olivia is our uh, type one diabetic. She is six. And uh, we have a son, Peter. He's two. Uh, when was Olivia diagnosed? At, at the end of her fourth year. In October. In October. Um, two years. Um, you know. And it was, um, it was quite a shock. Um, we didn't know, I didn't know anything really about diabetes. One of the first things that I, that we did, Carrie's mother works with a gentleman who's had type 1 diabetes for uh, most of his life. And he, he's grown and has kids and yeah. said, first thing, best thing you can do, send it, find a camp, find her, send her to camp. Yeah. And so then that literally was one of the first things we looked up. Well, the, way I, the way I describe it to people at, uh, who ask is, her pancreas doesn't work, it's a major organ. And so it's the same thing as if her heart doesn't beat or her lungs don't work and, oh, it's okay, we just have to pump the blood for her or breathe <laughs> for her. We, we have to be her pancreas. We have to be her pancreas. It's 24-7, 365, it never and stops. And so because of that, you could argue, oh, well, she can't be a normal kid because who could possibly yeah. understand the background necessary to do that? Well, camp lets her be a normal kid. Yeah. Camp lets her be a normal kid. She can be here. She can be under the supervision of nurses and doctors and older kids who are counselors who have had this since they were her age, most generally. And they know it. She know I have very little background information other than the little specific intricacies that are Olivia's diabetes. We can tell, we can explain what her diabetes is like, but we don't have to explain the rest. Everybody here, she's like everyone else. We're different. And it's just easy for her to be bright and happy and alive and at, at ease and do really actually feel like she's doing everything that everyone else is. Yeah, the gentleman we were talking about earlier that has had diabetes said, find the diabetes camp. We found uh, Camp Magenta. Um, which we were lucky was only about 20 minutes away. Um, and we came um, several months later to a family camp in the summer where families can come for a weekend with meet other families and, and their non-diabetic children as well. And you all interact and you have you sessions. Learn. You, you, you learn, learn so, so much what you're doing right, parents. what you might be wanting to do a little differently. Mm -hmm. This camp is a place where not only the, the children see that they're not alone. Here, yes. they're like everyone else. Everyone has diabetes here. The counselors, well, some of the nurses don't, obviously, but almost everyone here does. Um, but parents can parents. come and see. They're not alone, too. There are so many people out there with this disease, and that they go through what you go through. That They test their children around the clock, 3 in the morning. There's highs, there's lows, both emotionally and in terms of blood sugar. It, it takes, it, someone with diabetes, it takes extraordinary effort to do ordinary things. There's nothing she can't do. There's no place she can't go. There's nothing she can't eat. She just has to plan for it, take the proper amount of insulin, be conscious of, of how she feels and what she needs to do. Um, and for those of us without diabetes, we can't truly understand what that's like. And we, we can help her and support her. At camp here, everybody knows what yeah. that's like. That's what life is for, for these extraordinary people who are here. And that's why it's such a wonderful place for her to be. So, you know, here at camp we have the parent resources for during family camp where we can kind of relate, but then you just can't help but notice all of the examples of what Olivia can become in the future. And all of the counselors, they're just, every single one is so amazing, mm -hmm. right? When, you, when your child's diagnosed, Olivia was only um, four. Mm -hmm. um, you can't she, hardly project. You don't know what, what's what's her life going to be like, how's she going to turn out, and, and you come here to camp and you see these amazing counselors who have had diabetes for 15 years, they're in their early 20s or in their late teens, they've had it for so long. They're they, so happy. Yeah, and, they're so and they've come here amazing. to this camp for 13, 14, yeah. 15 years. They're so well adjusted, they're so responsible, they're just such incredible people, and you say, you know, that's what my kid is going to be like. And, and it's going to be okay. And with all of them, too, their lives are not diabetes. And that's the hope, too, in the yeah. back of our of our mind. Even though diabetes can dominate our day-to-day -day, um, functioning, you do want to make sure that your kid does not, you know, eat, breathe, sleep, think, obsess over yeah. diabetes. 
It's a part it of it. It's not. It's but not it's not. Life. It's not in the counselors. It's totally not. They are. They're amazing individuals who happen to be experts on type one diabetes. And so for that, Matt, you know, for that fact, like Livy couldn't be anywhere safer at camp here. We would or happier. We're happier. She does, she the happiest times I absolutely can guarantee will be when she comes to camp.